Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide fields or show them based on another field's value using the visible property in Microsoft Access. The visible property has all kinds of uses, and you can use it whether you know programming or not. For example, sometimes you might want to get a value from a form, but you don't want that value visible on the form, but it's got to be there. For example, on my customer form, the customer ID is an auto number and it's handy, but I might not want it on the form. Maybe you don't want your users seeing it or whatever, but you have to have the value there for some other form to get it. So in that case, it's very simple. You just come in here and I usually delete the label and then I'll take this guy, right? and I'll make its property not visible. So go to Format, Visible is now set to No. And then what I tend to do is I like to move it off to the side, put it somewhere where it's not in the way, and then I'll make it red. And you only see this in Design View, but at least you know that that's a hidden field. But the Customer ID is still on this form, so if I save this and close it and open it up, you don't see it there. But other forms can still get that value. How do you get a value from another form? Well, I got a whole separate video on that. For example, if you want to get the order ID off the order form, you just use the forms form name field name notation. And this video explains how to do that. I'll put a link to this down below. So that's the number one reason why I would use the visible property without programming. Now, once you learn a little tiny bit of VBA programming, the visible property really gets powerful. Now, if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long, teaches you everything you need to know to get started. VBA is not scary. Once you learn a little teeny tiny bit of VBA, your databases become a whole lot more powerful. So in our VBA, we can use something called the after update event. This basically fires whenever you change the value of field. So for example, let's say I only want to collect notes for customers who are active. All right, so if this gets checked off, hide the notes field. You've seen this online. Maybe you took a survey and it says, you know, did you enjoy today's dinner or whatever? You check yes and then, a, and then a text box pops up and says, enter your reasons why. That kind of a thing. Maybe you don't want this visible at all if it's a non-active customer. Whatever. You can hide buttons. You can hide other fields. But let me show you how this works. Go to design view. Open up the properties for this checkbox. Go to events. Find after update, click the dot, dot, dot button. This is all covered in my intro to VBA class, by the way. Click on that. That'll open up your VBA editor. You're now in the is active after update. This fires whenever that checkbox is clicked. Okay, so we're going to just say in here, notes dot visible equals is active. Okay, now is active has a true or false value in it. It's a checkbox, right? So that true or false value will determine the visible property of the notes checkbox. See that? So if this is checked on, then notes.visible becomes true. And if it's checked off, notes.visible becomes false. All right, save that. Come on back out here. We're going to close this. We're going to close everything down, reopen it. All right, check on this box now. Look, off, on, off, on. See that? The visible property of that text box is controlled by the value of this box right here. Now, unfortunately, that's not the whole story because if you noticed when I first opened the form, this was off. So watch, close that, open it up, and you're still seeing it. Why? Because there's one other place we got to put that line of code. There's something called the on current event also. The on current event runs when you move from record to record or when the first record loads up. And on current is a form level event. So what we essentially have to say is when we click on this checkbox, set that notes field to visible or not. But also it has to run when we move from record to record or when the form loads up. And we can do that like this. Right click design view. Go to the forms properties right there. Go to events. Find the on current event. Same thing. And put that same line of code in there. Now, I normally don't like duplicating code, and I talk about this in my VBA classes, but if it's just one line, it's okay. All right, save that, close it, close it, close it, open it back up again. And now, as I move through the records, notice that's also taking place. See, turn some stuff off, go back to that record, turns on again, 
close the form, open it, and you can see that that is now controlled by the status of that guy, both when you click on the box and when you move from record to record. Okay, so as you can see, that visible property, yeah, it's useful by itself, but it really becomes powerful when you mix it with a little bit of VBA code. So if you want to learn this fancy programming stuff, go check out my intro to VBA class. And if you like that and you want to learn more, I've got tons of different developer level lessons on my website. I think I'm up to like developer 42. There's hundreds of hours of programming lessons and stuff available. So check it out. And if you have any questions, post them down below. So there you go. There's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.